What up, my followers and subscribers? Tanner Duncan here. I'm back. Yep. I'm back. And I just want to say, welcome to my review. And this movie is about the new movie I just saw, The Incredibles 2. Yeah, baby! That's right. 14 years later. 14 darn years. 14 years they have finally decided to make a second movie of The Incredibles. Applause to Pixar. Finally, Pixar, a second Incredibles movie. We've been waiting for one since the first movie. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was only 10 when the first movie came out. When I was 10, the movie came out. And I, it was back in 2004. And here we are, 14 years later. Pixar has finally decided to do a sequel. Now, I don't blame it on one thing, because I know in 2016, the sequel for Finding Nemo was Finding Dory. Finding Nemo came out in 2003, and Finding Dory came out in 2016. But, my golly, a second Incredibles movie at last, finally. Now, let's talk about this review. I can say I could give this movie a 5 out of 5. I mean, this movie was... Incredible indeed. <laughs> and the movie was way different from the second movie, I'm sure we all know. And this is... No, this will not cause any spoilers. I don't really do much spoilers in these videos. And I'm going to have to say, I was impressed with how they brought back all the original actors. Like, they brought back Craig T. Nelson as Mr. Incredible. Samuel L. Jackson as Frozone. Holly Hunter as oops, Holly Hunter as Elastic Girl, and they have someone else voicing Dash. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, they have someone else voicing Dash because the kid who voiced him in the first movie was all grown up. He's in his twenties, I guess. Now I would say they did have some new supers that you all know, and the movie was good. I really enjoyed it, and I would say this was no disappointment. It was indeed incredible. Not only was I glad they decided to make, bring back all of the original actors to pre reprise their characters, but I'm also glad they decided to make things a bit different. Like, they're deciding to sort of pick up where the first movie ended. I was like, if they ever made a sequel, I mean, would they have to make their kids older and <laughs> excuse me <coughs> I mean like if there's another movie they're not getting any younger now I would say there were some laughs and a few surprising twists not to tell you and there was a big twist for a screensaver not gonna tell you what it was either though I would say I the villain was good so I kind of prefer Syndrome from the first movie. I wouldn't say it was bad, I would say it was a pretty good sequel. I'm glad they decided to make Jack Jack more huge in it, like how he has his powers on how he's handling them. So yeah, I would highly recommend this movie. If you guys liked the first movie, you're definitely going to love the sequel. Yeah. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this review and hope you guys watch them please. Hit the like and subscribe button. And remember, be incredible. Always.